I had the pleasure of interviewing writer-director Ian Clark and producer Benjamin Wiesner after the U.S. premiere of their film, A Morning Light, during the Atlanta Film Festival. We spoke about their film, what it takes to become and thrive as a filmmaker, as well as the state of the independent film movement. So I uh, wrote and directed a project called A Morning Light, um, which is a sci-fi tinged uh, project about um, a couple who's kind of reconnecting and going on a outdoor, you know, excursion camping in the wilderness, and um, you know, slowly begin to experience and sense some kind of presence in the forest, and in in, in a kind of you know, open-ended way or in terms of ideas. It's kind of about ecology and sensory experience and kind of the uh, human impulse to be fearful, you know. And so I feel like my approach to cinema and, you know, moving images stuff is like, uh, I don't know, like I'm, I'm, I'm more, I guess I'm more interested in, in making and seeing like uh, projects that are um, about ideas and, and you know like something that is experiential and something that uh, you know you just feel something you sense something you like you 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 know you maybe watch it and you don't fully understand what something is and you know I I mean I think it's a really great thing if you can walk out of a theater or any kind of experience and just you know be left with some questions and just really kind of trying to understand it and deconstruct it I feel like it's a it's a fantastic time to be you know a filmmaker and an artist, you know, just because like technology is just increasingly accessible. And I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, I would I would say if, if somebody's like interested in in you know making a, a you know making a project uh, to just you know do it like just do it do it ragtag you know do it no budget just get uh, get a group of people together and just experiment you know just riff and see you know because you can do it you know. Um, you know, somebody knows somebody who's got a camera, and somebody knows somebody who's got a boom pole and a mic, you know, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Work it's from what you know. It, yeah. yeah, it's just about making it, you know? I mean, it's like, I don't, I, you know, I don't think, uh, I don't know, like uh, on the, on the, on the, you know, when I got picked up at the airport, uh, you know, somebody asked me like, uh, what do you do in the industry? And I was like, I don't, you know, I just like, I'm not, I, I guess I don't think I'm a part of any kind of like industry, you know? It's like uh, just working with a bunch of independent artists, you know? And like, uh, yeah, trying to, try, just trying to make stuff, you know? If you're gonna be a filmmaker, you gotta, you gotta be in it. I'm making breakfast. And that's your first job of the day. It's like, make sure people have coffee, make sure people have food, and then hopefully you're working with wonderful directors like Ian and you get, get into that creative side, but your job is to do what won't get done otherwise yeah you need to know how shitty it is to be that person who's just getting sent around and understanding what those roles are and how you can make them a part of the process because you're going to get quicker work you're going to get better work and understanding what it is to like really involve everyone and then make sure that you're talking about them about what they want to be doing next and and that's, that's one of those roles I feel like you can help people come up the way that like I feel like doesn't exist as much anymore right now. But I think that there's now this group of people who came out without mentors but came up with peers and are now really trying to, to bring up those people through production assistant roles, through people who are just working their ass off like really trying to to create and that's that's the most attractive thing you'll ever find in a future collaborator is somebody who's really working to be able to tell their own stories like because we're in this post 2007 collapse in the arts and a lot of people talk about economic recovery and everything like that but it never has reached the arts again so uh, mentoring kind of fell out when those budgets did it's that a lot of independent films aren't a business structure they're not supposed to be that's not what we need to be doing with them like you can have great actors who I won't name because we're recording <laughs> but 
they'll have all of these films and they, they become almost their own uh, studio because just having them in it helps you get to a place like Sundance and then you're still giving yourself over to a gatekeeper. So hopefully we realize like you can do really great low budget stuff. You can tell stories that aren't gonna get told anywhere else. You can do things that are personal, not just to you, but to the audience when they get to see something that reflects them. And if you can do something like the way that we support opera, which would cost a few million dollars and it goes one night, you know? And that's, that's how it happens and it's not supposed to be a business model, but that's something that we protect. It's an art. And how can we do that, carve out these little opportunities for people to really be making films that can, uh, can be a little broken mirror for people, like that, that disordered version of yourself that you need to see sometimes. Thank you.